Hi everybody, Rick Poljan with M Heart Fastening Technologies. Along with our distributor, High Tech Fasteners, we're developing a series of how-to videos on how best to set up and maintain your new pop rivet tool. Your 2500 series tools comes with components capable of setting 1 8 diameter rivets through 3 16 diameter rivets. It is important that as you unpack the box, you keep track of these components because you will need them later. Inside the box, there is an air supply line, a packet of information which includes the manual for repair and maintenance of the tool, and then also importantly in this bag is a registration card. That registration card allows you to send that to Mhart and, and obtain a free can of jaw lube that will be important in later videos with the cleaning of the tool. And then also it lets us know where that tool is in case there is a warranty claim. Pop River tools are manufactured to the highest standards and very seldom do we get warranty claims, so it's good to have your warranty registration. You've got the tool itself in a small bag of components that will be required to change this over from a 3 16 diameter tool as it is shipped to either a 1 8 diameter tool or a 5 30 second diameter tool. So that little bag, a lot of times these components get lost and people uh, definitely go looking for them at a later date. It's very easy to lose, so keep track of that package of components. And then the last part would be our mandrel collection two. This piece and that piece quarter turns onto the back of the tool. Now when this tool comes to you, it comes set up for 3 16 diameter rivets. So here initially, we're just going to go through what needs to be done to get it out of the box and set your 3 16 diameter rivet. Uh, first step would be to connect the air supply line. Again, it's just a pretty simple factor here we take, and sometimes I like to turn the tool because it's a little hard that uh, tool takes a set and it's a little cumbersome. So I'll rotate the tool onto the hose. Some people will use Teflon tape in, in this case to form a better air seal. It is a pipe thread, so if we tighten it down, it should seal out without the tape. I just uh, finger tightened it. I'm going to take it about a quarter to a half a turn more just to seat it tight so that I know I have a good seal. The other end of the air supply line comes with a blank fitting. A lot of times uh, people different plants have all sorts of different fittings, so we don't supply that fitting. You'll have to match that to what you use in your shop. Here I'm going to use this fitting. Again, Teflon tape if you want to have a better seal. Uh, it is a pipe thread, so it should seal by itself. I'm going to finger tighten it. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to give it just a little bit more. And again, it's still, I'm holding this piece with my hand. You can put two wrenches on it and you grip it right down if you need to. Uh, that step right there, I, I do want to note though that with this tool there is an on-off switch here on the tool. This red uh, knurled bushing slides back and forth. That turns the air supply on and off. So I've had people give me a call, they plug the tool into air supply and nothing happens. Check that piece to make sure that that, that is engaged. Really next step, tool's ready to go. I'm going to plug it into an air supply line. Turn on the air supply with the red knurled fitting. You'll hear the tool vent air. That venting air is for our Venturi vacuum generation system, which actually pulls the, the mandrels back into the mandrel collection cup. I like to take and make sure that the rivet itself is drawing a vacuum, so I'll, I'll set the rivet up high and make sure that it bounces in by itself. You can see there, it's pretty quick pullback. You want to make sure you have a good vacuum on the tool and pull it back. Uh, now I'll just take and pull the trigger on the tool. It snaps the rivet off. You'll notice that as you keep your fingers on the trigger, the piston's going to stay in the back position and not release the nail. It's when I release my fingers that that nail comes forward and it ultimately is collected back in the cup. Really that's all you need to know from the standpoint of a 3 16 diameter rivet set up as it comes out of the box. Again, I'll know I can turn off the air supply and the hissing sound goes away right here on the tool. I think that's an important feature in this tool in that if you have a tool constantly venting air on your assembly bench, you're using up money. Air, air compressed air is cost. Uh, that should off switch is nice cost saving benefit. If you found this video helpful, consider using an MHART authorized distributor like High Tech Fasteners for your fastener and tooling requirements.